What is up my people? Today we're going to have a very career focused one. So today I'm going to be co- going over a story of a very great uh, guest I talked to on my newsletter who went from an engineer to a director in a very short period of time. And specifically what he was able to show me, talk about was 6 months of work that really led to this promotion. So these were 6 crucial months that really really skyrocketed his career. We're going to be going over the six months, what he learned, etc. So, let's just go. We'll the video will first do an introduction, then we'll do the stages of this work. So the data, the development, the when he launched the model, the impact, and what he learned from his whole experience. Pretty standard story telling format. I'm not here to be creative and be the next token, but I'm sure you're going to have a lot of information that you're going to pick up from this because this was one of the most popular articles I've done in recent times on my newsletter. So first let's enter the guest so you have context. So Jack Blunden is currently the VP of Data Science at Five and he's worked with other ML roles before and he has a lot of experience in machine learning data science and tech. And specifically I was introduced to him through one of my readers and when I looked over his LinkedIn content what I really enjoyed about it is that there's a lot of common sense good advice that you don't see otherwise. combined with other very insightful texts that I haven't seen anywhere. For example, he has this one post on interviewing data scientists and how you can make it progressively so that you can with the same question with minimal modifications you can judge from a junior candidate all the way to a senior engineer or somebody with the potential to be a senior engineer. So he has a lot of great content. I love it. This is his introduction of his own content. So not really the technical stuff that I normally do, but still very valuable, especially if you're most of you are in here to make a career you're not here because you love machine learning so definitely i would suggest checking it out so now that you know about the guest the story specifically is really really important because this project was very crucial as mentioned for him kickstarting his career and what he goes over is very important because he's jack in his many years of working and many years as a leader has noticed that the people make a few mistakes in their careers and the story can help you illustrate what not to do what what can be done better and thus take your own careers forward so let's get right into it in a four play first let's talk about the development phase which is what where it began so this time he's working with a company called gohealth and they were responsible for sales agents and health insurance pretty standard stuff i did some things similar with icici bank you'll see this kind of use case a lot my startup clientele also does something similar now so what they wanted to do was score whether a lead was a good match so is this guy going to buy is this not a guy not going to buy again simple stuff not simple to implement necessarily but a use case you will see a lot and uh, this is back in 2018 19 so i guess for him it was relatively new This is something I've worked on again, both with ICICI Bank and Plantel. Very different challenges with either, but similar use case. Now, what happens is this company gives him a six-week deadline, and the six-week deadline is really, really get, getting on Jack's head because. done right this model can have a huge impact obviously if you can score leads you can be you can prioritize the ones that are good you can skip the ones that are bad remember the 80 20 principle people and it can, this is also to give you some additional context this is at a time where he has to show machine learning being valuable to his company his boss is not fully convinced so if he screws up the entire machine learning thing goes down with him. So this is a very high, relatively high stakes uh, thing for him. So for six weeks, he's working on deploying. He's doing all of this, just constant r- rigor, b- getting destroyed. But it finally gets deployed and tested, and then more problems because, of course, if you know machine learning de- engineering, you know the deployment is a bigger demon than development half the time. So. once well one obviously if you have bugs that creates this problem the second thing what he note uh, what happens is office politics so if one campaign is better than the other 
the people from the worst campaign will start lobbying against this because now you have an AI differentiating the two. So the, there become all kinds of office politics. And all of this boils down to him because he's the prime architect. So everybody's calling him up, being like, yo, this is bad, this is bad. Do something about this, do something about this. And he's just going through consistently. So he had a very rushed schedule to begin with. On top of it, he's going through all of this. This really broke him down. Very draining physically and mentally. By the way, if you're liking this content, kind of a weird time to say this when we're talking about being drained emotionally, but anywho, if you're liking this content, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and sharing this video with people in your network who might benefit from this. It is your referrals and your shares that help me grow. So I'd really appreciate it. And they allow me to keep making such content. But anyway, once all of this was done, let's talk about the happy story. This man, this madman, got a 35% uh, improvement in conversion rate. Guys, 35% is massive. You are talking more than a third improvement. So that is a lot of money made. And as mentioned, this was when, this was a make or break project for the machine learning for his company. So he sees, the company sees machine learning doing well. They start investing more resources into this. And since Jack, our man, Madman Jack, was the architect of this model, what happens? Sorry, boys and girls, he gets promoted. He he becomes the point person. Even if he's not getting the necessarily the career, uh, this thing, immediately he doesn't get like a office raise or whatever. He's your go-to guy. And because he's the go-to guy with machine learning, he's interacting with everybody. He has to interact with business holders, stakeholders, etc because he's the, he was the prime architect. Eventually this sets him up really, really well for promotion. So you see how in that six months where he went from deployment and, um, sorry, development and deployment to, to where you finally start seeing the results of 35%. What you're starting to see is that, that period of work sets Jack up really, really well. And that's something he expressed to me. It's something he wrote about in the article and here is what his main takeaways were. So first, hit your deadlines. If you haven't, I understand things can be very stressful, but it's very, very important to get your stuff done in time. Even if you have to cut a few corners, like if you have to do not the best model, don't cut corners and st stuff like cross-validation because that can make or break you, but stuff like not using the best model, maybe you're not running, you're not, you haven't tested the most optimal policy, etc hit that deadline because you need to be able to show that you can get work done. And once something is out, you need like, once you can get something done in a deadline, you can get the feedback to improve it. If you're late on that, then you're going to be late on integrating feedback and it just gets worse and worse and worse because once you start getting feedback, trust me guys, it's 50 different people hitting you with 50 different things and you have to prioritize which one is good, which one's bad. And you're still trying to catch up. Don't get yourself into that. Even if you have to cut a few corners, hit the deadlines. The second, as I alluded to earlier, become a point person. So be the person that people are talking to. This can get a little bit stressful. Yes. But when you are that guy that people reach out to be like, Hey, can you do this? Hey, can I do that? Hey, I have a question about this. What ends up happening? You become irreplaceable and two, you get exposure. People know your name. People do this. So when it comes to promotions, when it comes to this thing, you have to, you're, you're just automatically top of mind recall. Why do I make so many videos and articles, etc.? It's so I am top of your mind. You remember me if, when you publish consistently, you stay on the top of your mind. So anytime you have a machine learning, this thing, you're like more likely to be like, oh, let's head up the launch. That's the same logic. That's why Coke, Pepsi, etc. depends so much money on advertising. Same story. Once you become the bad point person for people everywhere, communications go through you, you become entrenched, you become irreplaceable and you can negotiate for good career. Next, not to be cat and obvious, but wherever you can have a clear and quantitative impact. Numbers speak. And if you can show that I did this work, this led to that, I want that raise. Now, in some cases, if you're doing some very, very crucial work, like a lot of the maintenance guys, etc., they can't really show this. And if you're into that, I will not tell you to not be in there because those are very crucial. But if you're, if you're just here looking to up your career the most, 
always always try to angle your projects in a way where you can show quantifiable number of groups even if sometimes you have to kind of shakuni the numbers sw swipe things from here to there having clear num numerical differences makes your case much easier and sometimes don't be afraid of pressure he went through a lot but that 6 month period set him up for years look into your environment this is where you need judgment to see is this a chronically pressureful environment whether this is a repeated thing or if this is a one time thing if it's a one time thing you can use that pressure to skyrocket your own career obviously if it's a repeated thing if the organizations always in kill 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 pressure 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 more get out of there that's not good for you but occasional bouts of pressure can do great things for you this was jack's takeaways from this again just to talk about this the most important bit here is remember you it's not just you and your manager who decide your career it's a whole bunch of people it's your colleagues it's the people who work under you the people who work who work over you the more you can spread yourself out the more you can have your presence known everywhere the more you have very strong career uh, advice the more you have very strong career networks that can help you grow always keep that in mind you're not working software you're working with people in all times and that's something that jack learned uh, he saw both the good and the bad of it good when he was the point person he got acknowledged for his efforts he was able to just sky lock at his career leap frog ahead but he also saw the ugly where he was yeah his ai which was quantitatively good had subjective res resistance from people who had an incentive to hate him so that's going to be something that you should keep in mind and obviously soft skills very very important uh no shocking no shock there keep developing them my lovely people as i mentioned this was also an article most of my videos here are inspired by my articles or the research i do for them so if you want to go straight to the source read me at my best when i'm not making these bootleg videos my articles can be found at ai made simple or tech made simple on substack all the links are in the de video description below along with my social media links in case any of you want to reach out to me talk to me get some more insights etc we have over 100000 people at this point um, in my newsletters people have always enjoyed it you'll see more and more you've seen a lot of testimonials should come by it's a really good time i think i'm a good writer people seem to agree um and that's it thank you for watching love you all as always go kill all and stay woke